So what were your symptoms that you were struggling with when you first reached out to me before we worked together? Uh, when I first started, I had this anxiety that I could describe accurately as the minion from the Minions movie with the <laughs> alarm bells all over him. And he's like, wee -oo, wee -oo, all the time. And it was like he'd run to every little part of my body and he'd just scream at me about virtually anything that I was trying to accomplish. And he stood in my way from doing things in professionally, doing things socially, and doing things recreationally, and really was a hindrance. The, can, are you, do you feel comfortable sharing like some of the, the hindrance, in, like some examples how it really impacted your life, if you feel comfortable? One of the most important aspects of the first session that I had with George was the fact that for the first time in years, I didn't hear pounding chest or in my ear. Wow. And I was able to identify that my anxiety, when I started to listen to my own heartbeat, it was the anxiety first conversation with me. And when it went silent for the first time in between four or five years, and I don't look that far back, um, that was an achievable piece that George taught me how to get to. And I can go to that with the tools that he gave me. You know, my client here, even though I use um, really advanced protocols of hypnosis and many other healing modalities, my client here actually leaned forward to it. And by the way, did I ever guarantee you anything or offer you any refunds, guarantee any results? There were no guarantees, but I knew that I needed the help. And so as long as you are truthfully asking for the help, it would probably have been. You know, um, now, how did you find out about me? I actually did a little bit of work with a different hypnotherapist, um, just sort of socially. We were in a musical together, and I learned about what he did. And I actually sent two or three of my patients over to see him to help with their fears and anxieties about wearing contact lenses because the situation that they were in was that they had to for their status of vision glasses weren't going to work. And so I knew that there was a benefit to the procedure, but I didn't know that I had an identifying cause. So the anxiety bit, when I looked up George and he had the anxiety and depression treatment options, I thought to myself, this seems like the next logical step. I talked it over with my existing therapist. We worked together to come up with this plan. And I met somebody who I knew personally from years prior who had been going to George for about a year. And with what she said um, in her experience, I shared a very similar experience. After the first session, things were so different uh, that I had an appreciation immediately for the profession. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, even though you had the initial, I'm sure you had a healthy amount of skepticism, mm -hmm. you still said yes, you lean forward to it. Right. That's probably the most important piece of the whole system is allowing myself to trust somebody care of uh, as a healthcare provider. I will try to go the extra mile for some of my patients. It's in my nature. The perfectionism and, and anxiety that I suffer from are the direct result of the care that I try to provide. And when I met George, it was for one of those times where I said, this provider cares for me the way I take it. looking to go that extra step to make sure that I'm able and that I'm satisfied with those types of results. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, by the way, did I make you cluck like a chicken, bark like a dog? Oh, did you lose control? My office staff told me to program one or two of those things in so that they could say like, hey, Ryan, we have an Aetna patient and I should, I should make like a squeak sound or something. But my staff told me to program a few of those in, but that's not what actually. Um, so yes, the, the general consensus of what this was going to be like for the people that I had shared it with was more of an amusement in the first few phases, but I took it seriously when I actually came to the session. I knew that it was the help that I was looking for and it was provided. I achieved those goals. I, I, I want to ask you something, and if you don't mind, you did have a, um, a little bit of fear of confrontation, of standing up for your own. Can you tell me how this is now a little different now since you and I worked together. Uh, the most notable thing was literally the day after I happened to have be stepping on the stage for a musical. And the week prior, opening weekend, two performances, I was sweating through my costumes. I was very, very uptight and very, very edgy as if that minion were just screaming in, mm. in my ears, trying to keep me from getting my lines and my music correct. And the second weekend, I stood behind that curtain for every single entrance. I closed my eyes and said, calm, peaceful, and unconfident. I opened my eyes and stepped into my entrance. And I didn't miss a line. I didn't miss a, I didn't miss a note in my song. And I didn't have to listen to the alarm bells. My costumes 
were dry. Yeah. There was no more sweating. The mechanisms of cortisol and all the hormones that go through my body were virtually shut off after the first session because I was able to talk. You suffered a long time. I mean, it was tough, really hard. You really, really, really hard. You also had a couple of physical symptoms like uh, from ailments that, man, my clients here really suffered. And tell me like, what's different now? Um, for four years, just about four years, well, May to a little over four years, I woke up with this overwhelming nausea. I would wake up in a state of dry heaving or vomiting, like literally from laying down to sitting up in bed with tears in my eyes, gagging, running for the bath. A few years, uh, six to seven days a week because of the stress and the anxiety that I was under. And within the first week, I was down to about four days a week. And in the last two weeks, I've had significant resolution of that symptom. Um, it's been one of the most rewarding things to wake up and not be actively throwing up. It's, it was four years coming to get to this point, which I knew about. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy for you from the bottom of my toe to the top of my head. I, I really, really am so happy for you. Um, you've been to therapy or different types of therapy before. How is this different? what the advanced protocols of hypnosis that I use and the type of therapies that you've experienced in the past. Uh, disregarding the quality of some of my therapists throughout the last few years, I've had probably six or seven of them. <clears throat> they are really, really good at helping me through individual situations that come up. And so I basically had my anxiety that I was dealing with with a giant patchwork blanket. Every single interaction that I had, I'd share with a therapist and they'd teach me how to reframe, reposition, and make that one interaction better. So I have a giant patchwork quilt, but the monster of the anxiety, that little minion with the arms and me screaming, wee, wee, he was always... And for the first time, George was able to help me aim at him instead of trying to hold it in tight um, and tell him no. And basically, I just took that minion, I took all the little red alarms off of him, and I told him to be quiet, and he does. He obeys. He just follows in with all the other minions that are doing their thing. <laughs> and um, without that noise, it's allowed me to increase professional capacity. I've been better at interacting with my students and uh, patients that I take care of. I've been able to handle my office staff issues with much more grace and poise than I had in the past. Uh, and I have the ability to continue uh, using the tools and techniques that I was taught to each day a little bit better. Uh, there hasn't been a day that's gone by that I haven't used the tools from this program. Uh, and I look forward to continuing to use them to mold myself into a more productive and more fulfilled. And you be you. It's time for me to come out of my own shell. And I now have the tools to move in the direction of uh, positive change so that I can... I, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for talking candidly because there'll be many people who will hear this and just the way you talk and the experiences you share, you, it's, it's going to resonate with someone and you, I promise my friend, will save somebody's life. And I thank you for that. Well, you've reached in and you have moved the needle in... Uh, positive direction more than anything else that has jumped into my path so far. And I've been embracing the tools that you've given me, hoping to share with other people that are in a situation like mine that there's another option. You just have to want to sign up for this. You have to know that George is going to take that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the most important part. You have to trust that he's doing something for you on your behalf. And if the little mindset thinks that that's not true, um, just fight it out. You can get past it and, uh, and, and get to a better state of mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cool.